Johor. Malaysia's head start in rare earth processing technology ensures that the nation's mineral sovereignty remains protected, even amid trade agreements with major powers. Science, Technology and Innovation Minister Chang Lee Kang said Malaysia's advantage in the sector stems from its pool of local talent and abundant natural resources, including rich deposits of ion adsorption clay. Chang explained that the government's moratorium on raw material exports demonstrates Malaysia's commitment to developing its midstream and downstream industries, rather than focusing solely on raw material extraction. Uh, we, are, we are having a moratorium of uh, raw material uh, export. So we have already banned raw material export. Therefore, we need to, have, uh, uh, we need to develop uh, midstream and downstream uh, besides, uh, besides uh, uh, the raw material. So uh, I think this is a good start. This is a good start, uh, especially uh, uh, we cannot have uh, one country controlling uh, all the resources uh, in this world. Uh, that will create uh, vulnerabilities in the global supply chain. Speaking after officiating the seminar on exploration, thorium and rare earth 2025, Chang noted that China currently controls approximately 70% of the global rare earth processing capacity and Malaysia is working with various partners, including those from China and other countries, to strengthen its own processing capabilities. He highlighted that the recently signed Memorandum of Understanding between Malaysia and the U.S. on rare earth elements promotes openness and transparency, with no restrictions placed on any company or country. The clause